what's going on. Uh, decided to do a quick overview on my helmet. Uh, this big uh, bush thing in front of you is in fact a helmet. And uh, I'll just go over it real quick. There's not a lot to say. So I figured I'd knock this one out while I still have time and the camera out. So this is an Opscore Maritime. Um, if you're ever curious how to tell a Maritime from a high cut and you don't know, behind these, uh, real easy to tell, you'll have four of these little slits, these little slots. If you see four on the vertical part of the arc rail, that's usually a Maritime. If you see three, it's usually just a regular high cut or an aftermarket rail. Um, yeah, this is my, uh, this is my ops core. So we'll start from the front and work our way back. Actually, let's knock out the interior. It's the standard interior. Um, I didn't care to mess with it. I might in the future. The helmet cover is the ops core SF helmet cover. Um, I would pull stuff out, but no. So anyways, starting on the front, uh, Wilcox arm, L4 G24. Um, Self-explanatory. I spray painted it, as always. Uh, bungees, you know, come with the helmet. A ton of scrim, ton of homemade scrim. Uh, still has space to add vegetation with some time, with some prep. But this is a, uh, yeah, just scrim. Uh, flag patch. Yes, another patch there, an ID patch. I have a Princeton Tech light on here. The, uh, you know, I think it's a charge. Keep it on red, but, you know, it has a white light function. And this I would use instead of, you know, I can just turn this up and kind of have like pseudo umbrella lighting. If not, I have an Echo Arms plate that I can switch out or I can put back here on the Velcro and use that for umbrella lighting if I needed to. Um, but yeah, past that, you have amps, also from Opscore. Um, I got the, what's this thing called? I got the little Velcro covers for them. I was going to get stickers, but I decided not to. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so allegedly, it helps dampen the sound. I really didn't care. I just wanted to make mine look cool. So that's why they're there. It turns out that you can just buy stuff to make it look cool. I have, I think this is the Opscore um, counterweight. It's very bulky. It's very big. I'll just show you what's in it real quick. Uh, I have, if it comes out, just a, you know, Mantis strobe. Shove it back here. You know, again, not great for a field environment or if you don't, you know, if you don't need to wear this during the day, there's no reason to. For range use or for, you know, whatever you'd need it for, a little Unity Spark. It's small. There's no reason not to have, like, at least one of these. And I usually keep it on the helmet. Uh, batteries. Yeah. Uh, very important. Especially for RNVGs, and especially since I don't have a battery pack. So I keep those on hand. And that lives in there. If you notice, I've tried to put scrim on as many surfaces as possible. I even did so on the fucking... On the cable here, funny enough. Just put as much scrim, put as much stuff to break out, break up that outline as you can. Because the last thing you want is to be seen in the woods because you didn't want to do your homework. So yeah, that's it. Um, it is an Opticore helmet. Alright, until next time.